Hello everybody and welcome to a a new kind of video that I'm doing. This is a first impressions video of the the brand new Miraculous Ladybug game. So I'm a big fan of the TV show and I was excited, I've been really excited for this game so I thought let's do a first impressions of it. Let's see if this game's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. I have a sneaking suspicion what the answer is going to be but hey let's give it a go. Huh? So yeah let's just get right let's just get right into it. So I have not played this game at all. This is Legitimately first impressions, first time playing it. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm playing this on the Switch for on the Nintendo Switch, so it seems like there's going to be a lot of load load times. Unfortunately, let's see voices. Yeah. Oh, can you have like the? Oh, that's cool. So you can switch between English and French, which is good. I'm going to stick with English because that's the voices I know. Leave all that. I'm sure the controls will. Right, let's just get right into it, I guess. In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl with a normal life. But there's something about me that's only possible because of who Ladybug is to the people of Paris. A lot of people see her as a symbol of hope. As someone who would never give up. It may feel like a burden sometimes, but I guess it comes with the territory. We all need someone we can look up to. Someone who helps us get a grip on things. Especially in hard times. Someone who reminds us that whenever we seem to lose hope, giving up is not the solution. Don't be bemused, it's just the news. Today, Mayor Bourgeois launches his new Paris cleaning strategy, supported by a squad of new and expensive innovative cleaning robots. Mayor Bourgeois seems to be intent on putting an end to, and I quote, an unsightly and stinky flying rodent problem. Mr. Pigeon 68, I may have given you your power so you could take your revenge on Mayor Bourgeois and his shameful robots, but in return... I'll bring you Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous... Breaking news. Mayor Bourgeois's Operation Clean Paris has just been sabotaged by none other than the infamous villain, Mr. Pigeon. He just deployed an army of ominous pigeon bots that are causing havoc in the city. Once again, Paris is relying on our beloved superheroes, Ladybug and Cat Noir. Mr. Pigeon? Again? Wow, those graphics, man. Did you see that picture? Why was that picture all blurry? Like, come on, I know this is like, I know this is like a budget game, but... And I guess maybe this is the Switch version, like perhaps the PlayStation version is better. And let me tell you, these load screens, man, these are taking a long time. Huh? But, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit too harsh on the graphics, but let's see if the game plays any better. I mean, at least they got the voice actors in. I was, wor I was worried that they weren't going to, it was going to have no voice acting in it for some reason, but. I mean, this is Game Mill, they don't usually have voice acting. Okay. Let's. Okay, so you can move about. Oh, and you can and you can swap on the fly. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna be ladybug because I like ladybug. Oh, well, the target and enemy. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's just basically like a sort of a, a very generic beat 'em up type game. I like I like I mean I like beat 'em up so maybe this is good. Huh? So up, oh, oh, I keep. Okay, it seems like the stutter a lot. Oh, like. I know that I'm playing the- Oh, can't- Why would you put a big tree there that just obscures my vision, huh? Like, I know it's the Switch- I know this is the Switch version and maybe I'm being- I shouldn't have, like, expected anything, but, like, think about all the other games that were released on Switch and how great they are. Like, they just released the Persona 5 on Switch and apparently that's doing- That's an incredibly great- Great port. Huh? I'm just gonna collect these orbs because I assume they're gonna be important for something, huh? Yeah, I should explain that this is being published by a uh, game meal entertainment who do like a uh, every time it, it it stutters so much. Yeah, this is made by a uh, game meal entertainment. Uh, or it's published by game meal entertainment. They make a lot of like um license games like they do all the Nickelodeon car races games. They did the Nickelodeon um Smash Bros clone. I can do a dodge. Yeah, they do all those games. But, so they've got a very mixed reception. They've got a very mixed Sometimes their games are good and sometimes they aren't. Oh. Are you supposed to hit the oh, he's got to do the dodges, I was just teaching you. Oh, it feels like it's lagging so bad. Oh. I only bought the Switch version because that was the only one I could pre-order. This is a digital version. 
because I couldn't. I was gonna get the PlayStation version, but you couldn't pre-order that one digitally off the shop. So I had not just do this one, just so I knew it would be available. But uh, now I'm thinking I've made a mistake. Oh my god! I can't do these dodges. Come on. There you go. See, so yeah, like I said, but this, of course, this public game. Well, the people who are making it. The last game that I remember them playing was they made that uh, Cartoon Network Battle Crashers game, which is like probably one of the weakest game, they, one of the worst games they've ever made. So, yeah, which has got platforming in it. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's not. I mean, I guess it's the tutorial level, but no, it's not very exciting yet. If you're the last one, okay, yeah, I know how to do that. Just collect all the stuff, which is good. Okay, I assume there'll be like. You, I assume there'll be like loads of like. I can't different characters and that you can fight. But, so, I, should, I guess I should explain the. Um, what the show and why I love it so much. So I just. I don't, I don't really know what it is about it I like. I just really enjoy it. It's just. I don't know, it's just one of those shows that you can't explain why you like them. I just find it fun and I like the characters and that. Like, I'd actually would say that Ladybug is probably one of my favourite, like, characters in just media. I just really like her. Although I will say, I wasn't the biggest fan of the the fourth season, I think is what it was. Oh my god. But I think the latest one... I haven't seen any of the newer episodes yet because they haven't aired in the UK yet, which is annoying. <laughs> Come on, he just he stays. Oh my god. Again, these, these feel like nitpicks, but like when it's like sort of the game, it just feels so. Oh, sometimes. Oh, okay, we'll do that later, I guess. I guess there's like power ups, maybe like Ladybug can use like different miraculouses or something. That'd be kind of cool. It's just. The biggest thing I can do with this, this just looks so cheap, man. Like. I know it's like not a. Ladybug's not a massive franchise, but I don't know. It's like I, I guess people. I guess people are gonna say this like, "Oh, it's a kid kids game. You shouldn't take it too seriously." But like, I disagree with that wholeheartedly because kids game kids shouldn't deserve mediocrity. You know, they deserve so much better. Like, and also, I'm playing this on Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is basically, you know, a kids system. Like. Nintendo is a very kid-friendly franchise. Most of Nintendo's games are kids' games. So to say that, like, no oh, you shouldn't be weary. expecting much because it's just a kids' game. Well, what about th yeah? What about films like My Odyssey and like the Zelda franchise or like all those other games, Kirby and that? They're all for kids, and they're way more. I mean, again, I know it's unfair to compare like a very small company to Nintendo, but. <laughs> Today is the day the pigeons take a stand against those heartless Parisians who ignored them for too oh, long. Oh, the lag! The l oh my god! Again, like I said, I know it's the Switch version, but come on! You released this! No, send the front button. Pigeons will oh. reign supreme. No, oh, I've messed it up. How did you you do the That's the parry button, right? Yeah. Time. Oh, damn it. Pigeons will reign supreme! Oh, you said that. He said, he said that already. Ah, eh. oh, that was easy. Cataclysm! Oh, that's kind of cool. They recreated the, they recreated the um the things from the show. But that's like, even that was so laggy. That's even laggier than the show. Oh, not quick time events. <laughs> Army has just fled the battle zone, Mr. Pigeon. Oh, I'm playing as Cat Noir now. Oh. Yeah, I guess we'll play as Cat Noir for a bit. Oh, oh it looks like Cat Noir's got less health, I guess. I assume he's got all the same buttons or something. I mean, the game's not. See, the game doesn't seem terrible, man. Like. So far, I guess I mean, I'm only playing. Okay, it's only the first level, but. Lucky charm!
Huh? What am I supposed to do with this? See, I, I like this. I like how they like recreate stuff from the show. That's kind of cool. Huh? Got it. Hmm. I'm literally doing quick time events to eat stuff. Is, am I playing Heavy Rain? No, mash. One star. Oh, I guess you got get you get all the other stars if you buy and lock or find all the other stuff. I guess. So that was the tutorial. I guess it's it's fine. I guess. Oh no, there's no the voice acting here. Well, that's cheap. All right, I guess I'll do it. I wonder what these orbs are. Any ideas, Cat Noir? Not a clue. Do you think they have anything to do with the miraculous? Could be. I'll go check on Master Fu. Fu. I'm pretty sure I have a wise cat answer as to what it is. Okay, this is like not. So this is like before season three. Then this game is very out of date. Anyways, do you have any idea what the that orb could be, Tiki? I've got to do a high pitch voice now. I don't. It's the first time I see one in my entire life. Okay, I better go check on Master Fu. Then hopefully we'll have a straight answer as to what this is. Yeah, if you, if you wanna wanna hire me for any voice acting, then I'm I'm available. <laughs> And I, and I won't. What a lovely day. I won't charge as much money as others. <laughs> I'll even do it for free. Huh? Right, hi, my, hi, Master Fu. You shouldn't be here at the moment. Oh, these these cutscenes are so like like what are the animation? Look, what, what is what kind of expression is is that? Uh, that's not how Marinette would look. I don't know. It just seems so off, you know. Like, that feels like an off-model thing that like you would never see in the show. Huh? Oh, upgrade. Okay, so now we got to upgrade, I guess. We to upgrade. Oh, I guess we got. Oh, we got to upgrade his health because he's. I guess I like that. I like that they've like got different. They're not as powerful. They like have different abilities in that, and you can get like different. Oh, no. So have you? Okay, this, oh, I've not got enough any, for anything else, I don't think. Wait, what? No. Let's... Alright, let's get her damage up, I guess. Huh? And we'll get up enough, a bit of her abilities. Because we'll be doing for Cat Noir. Yeah, we'll get his abilities up as well. I think that's everything, okay. Like, what is wrong with, with Adrian? That just looks... Again, you, you can see what I mean, like, the... The character models just look so off, you know. They just don't look like the characters they're supposed to be. Yeah? You know, it's very sort of strange. Yeah? Are you saying no? Let's hope no one gets kumatized. Yeah, maybe knowing who your dad is, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. Huh? And also, that's not a spoiler. They literally said that in like the second season. Huh? Okay, so yeah, I think I read like there's like. You play as both Ladybug and as Marinette. Oh, you can just talk to random people. What do you want to say? Oh, okay. That was that was very interesting. I, I needed to hear that. So, yeah, this is... Oh, God, it's Chloe. It's everyone's fave. Oh, I've got, oh, I've got to play as Agent, apparently. Oh, I've got to talk to Chloe. Okay, well, that was pointless. I love you can just swap swap who you are, and they're like literally just in the same spot. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's Lila. Oh, it's everyone's favorite. I that's like. Do you know what? I actually kind of like Lila just because she's just so evil. Uh, okay, in, in the future I'll probably like read these sort of lines, but you know I'm very. Again, this is very sort of new for me, so I want to just. It, 
Isn't the whole point of Lila that she lied at the time? I don't... Surely it's not going to be an actual gift from Italy. Yeah. So I guess this is like halfway... This is like halfway through season three, I believe, then. Because Lila returned in series three. She was like a, a one of character in season one and two, and then she became a recurring one in season three. Yeah. See, I know, I know my Ladybug lore. I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some dialogues with your friends will allow you to increase your friendship level. Friendship! Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hate the fact that they just couldn't get the voice... Could they just not... Again, was it too much money to get the voice actors in to just do all this stuff? I don't know, I mean... I know Le M Marinette's voice actor is Christina V, and she she's does quite a lot of projects, so maybe she was too busy. But then surely not, you know? Oh, it's this. Oh, it's like a telltale game. I have a decision. All right, I need the help of all my friends. I can work up. Uh, well, if I remember from My Little Pony, friendship is magic. So, oh, Jagged Stone. He's basically their version of Mick Jagger, I believe. Who, fun fact, is actually voiced by the same guy who voices Cortex in the current Crash Bandicoot series, which is quite funny. Ah, oh, this bit's so. Ugh, these bits are so dull. Like. Ah, Francoise Dupont High School. It's where the cool kids go. <laughs> I have no idea who this Francoise Dupont is, by the way, but I guess she must have done great things. Like, did we really need to... I know this is part of the show, but it's just so boring. Nothing, Nothing's happening. Oh, just... <sighs> that's, like, that's like having a Spider-Man game... I was, I was about to say it's like Spider-Man here about when you played Peter Parker, but they actually did do that in <laughs> in the PS4 game, so. Yeah, these cutscenes are just very, very boring. I don't know how... If you want to read it, you can sort of pause them and read, but I just want to get... I just want, I want to get to the action! Like, my God! Uh, um, I guess I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good with voices, so I'm gonna not not do voices again. Maybe in the future I'll I'll do that again. I again I don't, I don't know. I mean, this is this is all new for me, and this is all this this is how you learn is by doing this stuff more. Like I don't I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'm gonna try and film for about an hour, and then I'll just cut out the stuff that's like not interesting. Oh, so I guess now we're gonna actually have a hopefully we're gonna have an actual proper mission again. Huh? Another loading screen. I apologize if this video is boring, but this that's what happens when you play a boring game like this. You have nothing to say. Huh? Oh, we're just Ladybug now. We didn't even get a transformation scene. Come you 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 reenacted everything else from the show. Huh? But you're not gonna reenact the her actually transforming? Huh? She's clearly up to something. Yes, thanks, Ladybug. I think we could gather that. Like we wouldn't even see the villain transform. She's just tran Oh my god. Again, this is so this is so lazy. You know, let's play this cat in a while for a bit because we've played a little bit, bit played too much of Ladybug. I, I don't, I don't hate Cat in a while. I just like Ladybug more. In fact, later, see, in later episodes, I kind of felt bad for Cat in a while because it feels like he's always, he never gets anything good. He's always like the one that no one really. It feels like he's never like. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but like, he's like because oh, and there was something over here. Because Ladybug gets all gets everything, Kenwell gets nothing, and he almost feels like a sort of a. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Sorry. You ever have that thing where you're trying to say something and you just don't know what it is that you're actually trying to say? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens to me like every day. Huh? Oh, this is this is very fun. This is super fun. Huh? I look. I try. I'm trying, man. Oh, I've got to be Ladybug here, apparently. Because I think it really annoys me because I think they really could have made a proper good Ladybug game. Huh? They could have done if they actually put effort into it. Huh? Yeah, I know you told me that of da. Like they could have done something really special here, but they didn't. Huh? It's just so boring. Huh? Like this is why you don't see any licensed games that much anymore because they, when they do come out, they're like this. Huh? I mean, I think what upsets me more is you see that new, have you see that new SpongeBob game that's coming out. The um, I think it's called the Cosmic Shake. Huh? And that looks really good. It feels like they're actually going to put some effort, they're putting some effort into that game, and that looks really great. And you compare that to 
stuff like this and all the other crap that Gabe Mill just crap out. It's just so lazy. You perform a flip by over and over again by pressing the B button. Um, not like that. Oh, that was very. Oh, okay. Oh, the lag, man. Oh, like. I could do this all day. Maybe like again. Maybe it's my fault for buying the Switch version. But how was I supposed to know that this the Switch version of this game was gonna be was gonna perform so badly? Yeah. And it wouldn't. And maybe it wouldn't surprise me if the PS4 version is just as bad or whatever. But oh my god. I guess unless you're like me and you're a massive Ladybug fan, don't pick this up. Like. Or if you're going to, wait until it's like cheap. I mean, I think it was like, it was quite cheap. Actually, no, I think it was like £34 this. I don't know what that is in dollars, but you can't even change the camera. Oh, look at this. Come on. This is just, this is just amateur. Why can't I move the cam? Oh my God, you can't move the camera. The camera moves by itself. Are you flipping serious? <laughs> oh, I'm getting, before I find over. Okay. Ugh. You... Yeah, stunned. But there you go. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. Cause I could just I could just mash the button. I could just mash the button and everything will work. That was this is super easy. I, just, I don't think I have anything else to say here. I think I've I think I have. I might end the video after this level because I think I've probably seen everything this game has to offer. You know, I'll be shocked if there's anything more. If there's anything else, huh? like. So I, and I, I wanted to go into this on an open mind. I wanted this to be a really good game, you know. I didn't think it was going to be, but I wanted my, I wanted me to think that it could actually be good, you know. I didn't want to just come in and say, "Oh, it's a licensed game and they're always bad," because you know some of them can be really fun. But this one, this is just mediocre. Like they couldn't have given less of a crap, man. Huh? Can I not go on the floor? Is this like, oh my, the lag, man? Oh. Okay, look, can I not go on the floor? No, oh, this is yeah, this is um Spider-Man um PS1 rules. You can't go on the floor, huh? Like I I've seen some, you know, some bad games, but it's not even bad. It's just very dull, and that's sometimes can be the worst kind of bad game is the dull one because it, at least if I was playing something like Sonic 06 or something, at least I would have something that. Thanks for. <clears throat> like, if I was playing something like Sonic 06 or even Sonic Boom, at least I would have something to talk about and something to laugh at but this is nothing we just kind of... oh no I just have to hit it I just have to hit I just have to hit it oh my god oh no that's just for a thing I haven't got yet oh I can just what's the point of these falling down things they're just things I can just w walk on huh? oh hardly a puzzle guys flipping out I I am trying really hard not to swear here, like, because I, I don't I want to try and be a non-sweary channel, and but also like you know this is a ladybug game. I, I think I worry that kids might come and see this, so I don't want to I don't want to start swearing. Just some just mild ones. Yeah, with the ones that probably I mean, mind you, probably uh, kids probably already know all their swear words anyway, so I don't really know I need to worry too much, but you know. Well, I have to be, have to be advertiser friendly for YouTube. Like, yeah, like, legit. If this wasn't a ladybug game, I wouldn't be. I would never have played this. But I wanted to give it a try. But uh, uh, can I just... what was that? It... What? Yeah. All right. <laughs> this is. Oh my god. I don't know why. I wonder what the Werehog stages in Sonic, Sonic Unleashed, but like a very, very worse version of the Werehog stages. I guess I've got to be Cat Noir now. No. What? What? I oh, guess. And then. I've, I've got. I've got nothing else to say. I've got nothing else to say. You, you can see this game and how mediocre it is. I really. Come on. Oh, I thought there would at least be something fun to talk about here, but there's nothing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this level when I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end this video because, I, may, no, maybe we'll play a little bit more of it. I'll see if there's anything else interesting. If not, I'm just gonna put this to an end and start <laughs> and just. Because I've tried, man. I've I've legitimately tried. 
But there's nothing. There's nothing here. I just... Oh, I'm just fighting the same enemies all over and they're not hard at all. You know, I was really excited for this as well. I was... I was really excited to do this video, but... I just... Also, I'm pretty sure Ladybug just said the exact same line that she just said a moment ago. So, we've got looping dialogue, which is always great. Because I guess they probably just had Christina V for like a, a day and just had her say all of her lines in like, I don't know, four hours or something. Because apparently that more sessions means you've got to pay the actors more. And we can't we can't pay our voice actors good good prices. Do you know what? I know I said earlier if like, you're a Ladybug fan to buy it. No, if, even if you are a Ladybug fan, don't buy this. Just there's, there's so many better games out there. Just don't don't get this. It's so there's not even any fun to just rip riff on. Like there's nothing here. Oh, I've got to find, it's just they just enemies just popping up and you just have to mash the button. Like, there probably are combos in this. There probably are combos in this game, but it doesn't matter. But I'm stuck on the guitar. I'm stuck. I'm I'm stuck on the guitar. Oh, thank goodness I can get out of there. I, I just, well, so now we've got glitches, which is a great thing. Every all great games have a, have glitches in them. Like, uh, game mill, man. Like, again, I know it goes to the publishers, but how can you look at this and go, yeah, we can release this? Like, because some of your other games have been pretty... You've gotten somewhat better lately, you know? Uh, Nick, the Nick, Nick All Star Brawl was, you know, not great, but there was passion behind it. There was passion and love behind it, which I could see. The late, recent kart race, Nickelodeon kart races games have been pretty fun. But this... I uh, know, oh I don't have any power. But this is just... You know, it's just these the worst kinds of these licensed games. The ones that are just so by bare minimum. Like you guys are literally turning into blast. Like like no, do you know who game game will are? They're the modern day equivalent of LJN, huh? You know? A publishing company that just makes really bad licensed games, huh? <laughs> that like that publish bad licensed games. But every once in a while they'll make a game that's not terrible, huh? You know? Cause that's it, and that's it. Like, cause that's what I said about like um, All Star Brawl and the Kart Racer games. They're not, they're still not great games. They're still mediocre games, but at least they're fine. You know, at least I could actually go and tell people to. At least I would actually recommend those games to people. This one I just can. I can't recommend it to anyone. Again, and if, simply, similarly, if you're a parent watching this and like you have a child who really likes Ladybug and maybe you're thinking about getting them this for Christmas, don't get, don't do it. Don't buy it for them. Buy them something much better. Buy them like I don't know, Sonic Frontiers or something. I mean, and that hasn't come out yet, but and that might not be good. But or get them like Kirby. Get them Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Just buy them anything. Get them anything else than this. You know. Oh, no, I've fallen down again. <laughs> Just. <sighs> I mean, hopefully I'll do more first impressions after this this game, but <laughs> I don't... This one was like the the worst one to start with because there's just... Again, I'm sorry, how many times can I say this? There's nothing here, there's nothing to it. It's just... Yeah, I think I am going to do this level and I'm going to... And then I probably am going to finish because... I just don't know how much of this game I could really stomach. Because it's just so boring. Maybe I'll get to like the next Ladybug level. And if it's sort of still the same, then I might sort of like just end it there but yeah like you know who would have been a good could have been a good ladybug game way forward why didn't why weren't they target tasked with doing this they're really good way forward huh? hey they already have experience with christina v because she voices shante but now we have to go for bloody game meal huh? okay, I, I do feel like i'm being harsh to game meal but but I'm, i don't think i am because so many of their games that they just published they're just it's so mediocre. And like I said, this is also the same company who I believe, again, they did that kind of Battle Crashers. And that game was mediocre as well. Huh? So it just baffles me huh? and frustrates me that they made that game and then Game Will hired them again to do another game. Huh? Like, why? I think we're on the right track. Why? Oh, I. That fact that I didn't die that time. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, it's so laggy too. Oh, at least we're on the floor now, so at least there's something. We're on ground floor now, so there might be something different, but not too much. Just and lucky they await their turn, so I don't have to worry too much about being overwhelmed. But what what is going on? What is that? Is that my shadow? What? 
Is that putting my shadow? What is that? Come on, guys. Seriously. This is just... Again, I know that's a nitpick, but if I can notice that, then how the hell did the developers not notice it? Oh. And again, being the Switch version isn't an excuse. There are so many great Switch games out there. Again, Persona 5 is a way bigger game than this, and that had, a, and from what I've heard, that was a great, that's a really good port. Huh? No, never think. There's probably more things you have to collect, but I just, I just can't. I just, I just can't. I just, this is just. I don't know. I think this might. And again, you can't move the camera because, you know, why would you have? I mean, I've got me. No, it's 2022, and this is, and we're releasing a game that hasn't got camera controls in it. Oh, uh, we no, no, we'll be cat noir for a bit then because we haven't been, I've been, we've been using Ladybug too much. Again, I'm sorry, she's my favourite character, and I want to play as her, but I just wish she was. I just wish she was in a better game. Huh? You know, I wish both of these guys were in better games. Huh? Music is getting louder. We're getting close. Oh, did he just say? Oh, well, in fact, that's that's fitting. With at least the character is fitting. Like legitimately, the only thing I can praise with this game is they somewhat reenact stuff from the show, huh? which shouldn't really be a praise, which should just be, be a, a thing they should be doing. Huh? And then there's stuff here that we can't get because I guess that would just be too interesting. Like, couldn't we do a thing where we have to be the ones who do like the Cataclysm and Lucky Charm and that? Oh, and then we've got to switch the lady again. So check on, it's just, it's just like the show. Cat Noir does nothing. <laughs> Cat Noir is, is useless at the moment. It really is just like the show. Huh? Oh, boss fight. Okay. It'd be a lot more simple if you just handed over your miraculous. I believe sh this one was in an episode. Which I guess is still kind of, kind of cool that they're like your fighting characters from the episode. But oh my god, it's so laggy. It's oh, it's so. Hand over your miraculous. And we can call it quits. Deal? What? I can't move. Am I supposed to be... No, okay. What? Oh, i got to hit the things. Okay. It's all about that bait, kiddo. Oh, shut up! Sorry, I, sorry, I really don't like that song. But for, 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 for personal reasons. No! Oh, I can't move. Also, that song came out years ago! Why are they referencing that now? <laughs> Can I hit her? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh my god. God, this might be one of the easiest boss fights in video game history. Oh, you cataclysm. You know, I said that I praised that for them for doing this in the game, but like, I can guys, this is going to get old very quickly. Again, just like the show. What, what's going on now? You destroyed my stage! Whoopsie! I guess the show's over. Only we can only the hope. Music stops. And I'm the DJ here. All right. What's the trouble? Oh no! Oh, how did you jump? What's the jump button again? I forgot. Oh, what B was the jump button? Huh? Sounder, attack. Get some vitamins, kid. I'm so confused now. I don't have time what? to waste on these <laughs> I, I thought B was the jump button, is it not? Tick tock. That. Boom. That other one. Oh, and I was making another music reference to a song that's like years old at this point. Also, it's so laggy that I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be timed with the, with her throwing stuff. But, oh, what? Okay, that was pretty simple. He just jumps you to it. The sound of that? Okay, I thought, what's the jump? No, wait, that's a different button. I thought it was the jump button, wasn't it? No, get. But now it's not. Hey, now it's the dodge now, button. Jack. So they've changed the. So when you're in a battle, they've changed the jump button to a dodge. Like that's not confusing whatsoever. Okay. Can I just move now? Right. The Akuma must be in her microphone. <sighs> Alright, we done. Lucky charm. Yeah, do your lucky charm, ladybug. So blurry as well, certain objects. Like, look at that. Oh. <laughs> okay. And also, wouldn't it be cool if we were the ones that had to, had to do this? Like, imagine that's like a little challenge mode you have to do. You have to like look over everything, and then you have to find. You have to be Ladybug and use her lucky charm to find stuff. That would have been way cool. But this game, like this game, has no like interest in being cool. It's a 
cheap cash grab made by a small publisher. Mic drop. Just. <sighs> no more evil doing for you, little Akuma. There's so much better stuff they could have done here. I've been recording for like forty-five minutes. I've been able to end the video in a minute. Gotcha. Bye, bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug. What happened? Found it. Okay, that's 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 awkward. What as well? Why is that long? In like the gameplay thing, why is that not like in the cutscene? Huh? It'd be a lot better if it was in the cutscene, but whatever. I guess that would have that would have put in too much of their time, I guess. Shouldn't that have been popped up first? Jeez, they can't even do that right. Uh. All right, I think I'm I'm legit gonna end the video here. Let's just end the yeah cutscenes just. Yeah, alright, we're going to end it here. Uh, thanks for watching. Well, yeah, thank, thank you for watching. <laughs> Don't buy this game, and I'll see you... Actually, yeah, before I f finish, um, if you enjoyed this video, then um, stick around for December, because I've got a whole, like, live react live recording video series planned. So, yeah, if you, want, if you enjoyed this video, stay around, stick around for that, and subscribe and all that. Okay, bye everyone!